Today, we're in Isaiah chapter 49. This chapter is full of prophecy that is fulfilled in our Savior, Jesus Christ, as a servant of the Lord. What makes this such an amazing revelation is that it was written centuries before Jesus was born. Listen to verse 6 from the New International Version. It is too small a thing for you to be my servant, to restore the tribes of Jacob, and bring back those of Israel I have kept. I will also make you a light for the Gentiles, that my salvation may reach the ends of the earth. My friends, that's us. And so here we are today at the ends of the earth, not only centuries after this prophecy was written, but thousands of years after the good news of salvation was proclaimed and realized in the person of Jesus Christ. The scripture has been and still is being fulfilled as we march forward into the future, living out God's grand plan of salvation. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 3, the Apostle Paul exhorts the church as being an epistle of Christ, written not with ink, but by the Spirit of the living God, not on tablets of stone, but on tablets of flesh, that is, of the heart. I'm reminded of a writing from Oswald Chambers from his work, My Utmost for His Highest. He says, because I'm a writer, occasionally I have a friend who will say to me, I want to write a book someday. That's a worthy goal, I reply, and I hope you do write that book. But it's better to be one than to write one. Jesus says that we are the light of the world. The work that Christ is doing in all believers can result in an influence far greater than any book they might write. Through his word, written on our hearts, Jeremiah 31, 33, the Lord is displaying his love and goodness for all to see. He's shining his light and he's doing it through you and through me as we carry the gospel onward, shining his light for all to see.